is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. They are Soma, Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. He's hiding at the summit of the hill. I can see him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. He doesn't leave this monastery alive. Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. Is that rat? Wrote from his neck with my teeth. Wigman's fear on the air. My fingers itch for his life, Eivor. Patience. I'll attack when it's time.
you. Dominus autum et supplementum alpha per liquidia domino. Signatra unis pia, pi sun simla natra. Sed ic quod est naturae... Wickman, probably cowering within the monastery. Give me a hand over here! That raving pagan handed me Rockbridge on a plate! And you... You'll die in agony, back out! You can't kill me, Soma! Not truly! For what I am is unkillable! Stop flapping your mouth and die! me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. 
That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield, yield, yield! If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. We should return to camp. Before I let go, I burned this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built anew. Crops will return with time, but trust. That will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, Soma. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. It's just... It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone, even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. So my Jalskona, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all fought hard, and now Grandbridge is yours. You have your home once again. 
Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grantbridge and the people in it. That is noble and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who would it? I'll be happy to have you, Dringer. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. The wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the... Good news. sounds for a new arrival. Who would it be? Use your tongue or I will feed it to you! Do you want to die, thief? bring a feast and build their own guest house. These are very generous guests. It's a fine day, Eivor. will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranvi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. I hear a heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. 
So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. No riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we're climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again. The shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! Hytham! Hytham! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see? My faith grew stronger than my fear! <laughs> ha! A perfect fall! And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor and a perching of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor. ...for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all Hidden Ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know... ...it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join... ...but that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The Order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. 
If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless Jarls and bumbling Thanes. Yet look more closely, and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all! Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranvi about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hytham, for all of this. I must take my leave. So long. Mate. May I see your stores? Is that what you want? I feel like you're proud, Bob. Look how strong you are. Done for now. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Fight well, Eivor.
Admit it, Alvis. I am the superior wordsmith. Admit to a falsehood? I would sooner square a circle. Nonsense! It is not that complicated. You do not appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why you misunderstand. Greetings! Have a look. can compare to sagas, to true poetry. Compare? I think it conquers it. It is quick, clever, accessible to all. It is the art of the masses. What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. <clears throat> you see, flighting is simple. So hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh, and, um... Lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? All this is the clear winner, Hulker. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. Message has come. Whatever this beast or monster, defeating it would only add to my reputation. I should meet this abbess, Wolf Hilda.
Show me what lies ahead. Tell me about what you do here. When you hunt any animal, bring it here for a trade. And if you get something really special, I'm happy to mount it. That said, though, I can't do much until you build me a place to work. It won't do tanning hides on makeshift tables and dirt. I'll see you later, friend. Until next time. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles, and you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I'll join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come. This way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see that?
see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So, your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I am impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. I think we found our wolves. You there! Get to cover! Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. That should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't, but I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't... Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This is grand, Ava. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks. I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humble. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. Sunan, guide me.
tree is overrun with mistletoe. When did that happen? Sighing of the branches soothe me, and may all thoughts of chaos fade. Hurry, we are nearly there. Peace, Frick. It will do us no good to arrive at our enemy's doorstep exhausted. Suter has our son, fair Balder, fallen to treachery. Does that mean anything to you? It does, and Suter will pay a heavy price for it. We do not serve our cause by reckless haste. The tyrant of Muspelheim acts with purpose. And I would know the web he weaves before I'm caught in it. So speaks one who never nursed our babe at the breast, nor held him as he slept. You were warming your wife's bed while I nurtured your son. You were only too keen to send him to my care, and Freyus, when the call of adventure became too great to resist. Now dampen your heart fire. Captive he may be, but there's nothing in the Nine Realms that can harm Balder. There is one thing. Pick up your heels. Baldur was too mighty to be captured by force. I sense Loki's hand in this. As do I. Yet still the wretch refuses to confess. That is why he waits in fetters for our return. Chained by my own hand, as I chained his son. As he has chained ours in turn. If he is truly conspiring with Suter, he will know my everlasting wrath. Will he, Harvey? Or will you forgive him once again, so he may wreak more misery upon us? You love your dear blood brother too well, when he has brought you nothing but pain. We have brought each other pain. Harvey, look! Burned. Their corpses left us food for the crows. A dark omen indeed. Come. There is no time to waste on the dead. We should have done more. We should have rallied the whole of Asgard when the Muspels invaded Svartalfheim. And you should never have let our son come here. He sought to prevent this war. Was that not a worthy goal? As for Asgard, the Builder's treasury was still fresh. We needed to rebuild, honor our dead. There was little appetite for further conflict. I recall you said the same when Sutor invaded Alfheim. Now the Elves are no more. Now you dredge up ancient history? You should have intervened, Lord of Asgard, then and now. Instead, Suta has grown too bold, and our son may be the cost of it. Do not say so, Freak. We will find him yet. What have they done? The city lies in ruins. This is worse than I thought. 
have put this land to flame and sword. Baldur! He is nearby, Javi. I feel it. You feel it? The bond of mother and child. Something you will never understand. Now follow. Javi, stay focused! Where is he? That way. Maybe this? These buildings stand hollow. No one is here. Then we have nothing to fear. There! Inside that house! He has been here. It is... so faint. Are you sure? Can't you tell? Come! He must have gone this way. That building! Hurry! I see no sign of Balder. No, but the essence of him lingers. It is stronger here than before. Do not slow, Harvey! We are on his trail! If this instinct is true, let us follow it further. Where are you, my son? If they have harmed a hair on your head... Keep faith, Rick! We'll find him safe. We'll see. This city broods beneath a cloak of uneasy silence. Where is the enemy? Concern yourself only with our son. He is close. I feel it now. Here, the smell of his skin, his hair. It's as if he left but a moment ago. There may be other signs. Keep watch. I will look upstairs. What is this place? What happened here? Dried blood. Could it be his? My son, demon. He waits at my master's pleasure. There. But maybe not so fair as you remember. Javi! More of them! Gorge your blade! You will burn, Asgardians! The grave yawns to greet you!
much longer, Corp. These fiends are coming from everywhere! How many more must we face? You will never reach our master! This city will be your tomb! Since you and I crossed blades, then let's make this the final. So it begins. Come to my home. I will close your mouth. 
should never have come to my hall. I will close your mouth to steal. should never have come to my hall. I will close your mouth with steel.
Baldur was too mighty to be captured by force. I sense Loki's hand in this. As do I. Yet still the wretch refuses to... Disturbing thoughts invade my rest. Merely a dream, or something more. Perhaps I can reclaim my dream of Svatha fame. 